Hello, welcome to my review of Farmer's Dynasty. It's Xbox One version, and I'm playing that on the Xbox One X. It's a strange game. It is a bit of a strange game. Oh, sorry about that. I just already hit my microphone. Uh, it's it's a role playing game and a farm simulator and like a, a bit of a life simulator all rolled into one. Uh, it's quite ambitious. Uh, the premise of the game is that you've basically inherited a farm, uh, it, but it's it's pretty run down. And you've got to rebuild it and you know get yourself a get yourself a wife and a kid and and live basically. All them things are apparently possible. So possible in this game, uh, and I don't see any reason to disbelieve that. This game's been out for a couple of years on the PC. It's on Steam at the moment. It's literally half the price of this. I got the uh, most expensive version. It was forty four ninety nine or something like that. Uh, and I've played it a lot, so I can do this review as well. So I've got a good idea what I'm talking about. I've got a lot of hours in this game now, and. Uh, it's full of bugs, basically. I'll get that straight out. Um, and one of the bugs I've come across can actually break your game. So if you do decide to buy it, you're going to have to do quite a few workarounds uh, to, to actually play it in any meaningful way without wasting your time and getting too annoyed uh, because some of the bugs are, are extremely annoying. I'll, I'll, go to the, I'll, I'll do the bugs at the end, but all you need to know, if you, if you buy this game... Even if there were no bugs in it, you'd need a lot of patience. And, and the bugs and the glitches just add yet another layer of effort, that you hoops that you've got to jump through to, to earn money. Because uh, make no mistake, you do need to earn money, and you do earn money in this game. You actually feel like you're working for the most part. It's very slow, and it's, it's very laborious to play. Uh, and it's only there's only certain it's very niche I think there's only certain types of people that are going to want to play this, and I'm I'm one of them unfortunately, but it has been frustrating, so that straight away you know should put most people off because you, you're supposed to have fun aren't you? So anyway I'll get on with the review. Uh, like I said I'll show you the bugs that I've got recorded. And I know, and I'll tell you about, about the ones I know about, but I'll do that later. Or I may do it as I go, I'm not sure yet. But there is a menu, so options, field of view, gamma correction, sound, music, invert access, tool mode, I've got that to hold. That's when you're building, you just press and hold the X button. Head movement on and off, I've turned that off, it made me feel sick. Currency, I've got that on pounds, but it always seems to be euros for some reason. Uh Music, I always, I always turn music off on games anyway. I'll just show you at field of view. It does work. That's on maximum at the moment. So you can, if you look at that background picture, you can you can easily see where we're at there. And then I back up. And it zoomed us right in, hasn't it? Which is a bit close for my liking. Oops, went to wrong thing. <laughs> Idiot. Field of view we want, not load game. There you go. Now, there is a bit of uh, if you if you're moving left and right and up and down using the controller, that's fine. But if I want to move sideways, there's a huge dead zone. Now I've got I've got I've got quite a lot of movement on my control stick before it's actually moved, and it's. Uh, it's not as bad backwards and forwards, but left and right. There seems to be a dead zone. It seems all right when you're driving. It's just when you're on foot. All these buildings you can go in, you can see they're all run down. And the object of the game is that you can you rebuild your farm and you get social points. So if you look at this menu here, uh, you've got your time, your day, weather for today and tomorrow. Social points, I've got a 1,000, and it says euros there, 520. I've got my inventory and I can eat stuff. I've got my condition, which is my, my food's 81, my sleep's 83, and that does decline. So if I have a, I've just ate an apple, and I've put myself up to two apples, I'm up to 100%, right? Uh, if I go to bed, I can go to bed in the farmhouse, and I can either sleep one day, 
which is till tomorrow, or I can sleep a week. That's the only way you can skip time. You got to go to sleep. There's no speeding time up like on Farm Simulator where you can go 120% or whatever. Uh, or what? Not it's not 120%. It's much more than that, isn't it? But you can't do that in this game. Uh, the graphics, I would say ugly. And the draw distances for the detailed textures are not very good. It's more it's more noticeable when you when you're looking at trees and when you're driving about. The lighting is absolutely fantastic. I think it's probably the best lighting in any in in this type of game that I've been in. Maybe The Witcher, The Witcher Three, had sort of nicer looking uh, times of day. You know, really nice. You get some nice shadows day and night. It's not sorry, not day and night. Uh, evening and morning and throughout day the shadows move uh, in in the game time and it makes it makes everything look a bit funny now sometimes when you're driving a tractor which I can't show you just at the second because I we haven't got one we've inherited a farm but no no tractor and you have to do quests which I'll come to now I've already done part of this game this is one of my early saves which so I can just show you the basics of the game so that's where I've got to go to uh, to do this quest to get a tractor and it's called the Jack Bear well it's a John Deere even the guy says it's a John Deere but it's a very old one you have to really rebuild stuff so you go to this little oh I'll show you farm statistics first and that's it your greenhouse not built you know it's telling you farm buildings fixed greenhouses what you've got growing in it what your animals are how many fields you've got what's what state they're in you know so i've got uh two fields one canola one wheat they need fertilizing and uh the canola's ready to harvest it says so i think it's i think they're both ready to harvest now fertilizer in stock seeds stored grain silo nothing grain storage grain storage is this by the way the grain silo is obvious there that's the grain storage and you it go in here and empty it into this, but there's, there's a problem with this grain storage and the grain handling when you've when you've harvested it, uh, and I'll come to that. That's part of the bugs and that's part of the annoyance because basically you lose a lot of your hard work and it is hard work as well. So just I'll I'll briefly give you the the course on on fixing stuff up. You can fix everything that's broken, and magically you, you get the ingredients, and they don't cost you any money. So I've got new wood there. New wood's appeared and it ain't cost me anything. Uh, if I press right button, it gives you this is what they call engineer's site. So this this concrete step, that wants repairing. Around the bottom of these buildings, like this, that wants repairing. Old brick, that wants repairing. Same for inside as well, and I'll quickly give you a tip uh, with this game. You've got to do. I, I did the house up, and I'm thinking, wow, oh, blimmin' it! See, I repaired all this. Is your floors and everything? Wooden planks. And that's the door. Come on, open. This is where you skip time sleep on your bed or rest for a week uh, got a veranda I don't know I think what we call them verandas quite handy that hen house is your best source of making money by the way or the quickest well I'll do that later in video so you've gone round and you, you, you've repaired everything including your cellar that's got a or a basement and you're thinking wait I'm triggered you know there's something wrong with the game there's something wrong with the game but it, it, it's not what's happened is you've missed this you've got a loft and you can you can repair up here you can also get a it's full of stuff well, I say full of stuff it's got a few things you've got a, a strimmer a brush cutter or a weed whacker if you're American or Australian and the weed whacker strimmer actually does work I'll, I'll just quickly show you I'll just quickly show you that see all these flowers and that here and all this rubbish 
You can actually make it look quite nice, you know, it looks... And it, it does work. Uh, there is the, you, you, when you get the tractor, you've actually got a lawn mowing attachment as well for it. Uh, I'll run into it and just quickly show you that. And this is... You, you don't get many things, but this is one of them. And that attaches to the tractor. And you can mow your grass with it. Your cow shed. I'm using it. It's called engineer's site. Uh... This is where you get your manure from. If you press right bumper button, it does tell you things. There's a, you see, because I, I got, I've got a tractor here because I, I did the pre-order thing and I got the extra, I got the extra, uh, what do you call it? Extra content. None of which I can get apart from this because all the other extra content is, is, uh, all the expensive tractors and stuff like that so you don't just get them by default uh, I mean I like these old tractors and things like that they do look nice but that's maximum speed 23k an hour uh, and it, it's 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 very slow very very slow now as you, as you get further in the game and, and acc accumulate some money you can once you've fixed your buildings up uh, I, I will load a game uh, and show you what some of the uh, what, what when it's fixed up to sort of like an intermediate stage where it's it's basically classed as being fixed and usable, but it just doesn't look that pretty. This is your greenhouse. This is this is quite a good source of money, and one of the things you can do with it is you can change the humidity. You see, it's in the yellow at the moment. It wants to be in that green, doesn't it? So if you go up to basically. Uh, maximum green you see the raindrops when it rains that's what you get and you've got windows up here that you can open and close but the it needs fixing up at the moment so I'll go to well, what what you do actually as well you can go to your menu press y and then right right and left bump up everywhere and, and play some of the places that have bad floors, that have bad footings. You know, you could maybe this bit would be broken. So you see, I had a grinder then. If I go to this, it does it with a grinder, and I don't know why. But if you if you go to, well, I don't know why. If you pick up this metal, you see, there's a pallet of metal. It changes the tool and says and and, and rebuilds it differently. Uh, that, anyway, essentially, this this is what you do, and then when you've done everything, including the roof, uh, it'll give you a message saying "well done" and give you some social points. Now your scaffolding, don't you notice I've got scaffolding up? I'll I'll just give you the quick scaffolding. Actually, I'll give you the scaffolding course up here because this is this is how this is your game now. This is how you play it. Engage cruise control. I'll turn my lights off. With uh, you press down on the uh, on the left stick, you know the left stick button. So I've, I've already spoke. There's a guy up here. He owns this farm. I've already spoken to him, and it was quite a lengthy, like not cutscene sort of thing, but you know interaction with an NPC. And a bit of the story is revealed to you. Uh, if I drive over this field, I, I might get. A, yeah, you are destroying strangers. Cop, you see my social points plummeting. Oh. <laughs> By the time I get there, I won't have any left. Go on, check that. Go on. That, that button that you press, the right bumper, to you know, that gives you, like, engineer sight and information as well. Oh, I'll show you on this guy now. Hang on. How do you get off the tractor? Yeah, there you go. See, they've all got smiley. He's got a smiley face. I'll talk, just talk to him, show you what it's like. No, I've not finished my task, Oliver. Sorry. He's going to give me that tractor, and what I've got to do is his barn. So, if you go inside, I don't think there's a way. Some 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 buildings you don't need to use your scaffolding, but this one you do. I've got to go repair his roof. I think that's the only thing that needs repairing for Oliver for his barn. Oh no, there's round the door here, so 
uh, repaired old air bricks and then I'll, I'll show you the scaffolding uh, so I'll do it the easy way I'll just go up and down on the d-pad so I'm carrying the scaffolding now and the steps on it that you can get up your scaffolding so that's probably about all you're going to need but I'll put that bit up there and that bit there and that bit there so I'll go up with me it automatically your tools automatic so I'm just pressing and holding the X button and it's it's fixed he'll give me his tractor and he'll call it a jack a jack bear but it's a john uh, sorry he'll call it a john deere but the game calls it a jack bear i mean why they, they're all so into this copyright stuff it's pathetic isn't it they just it's like these disclaimers you get i love it when i remember buying buying like a an ip an ipod like oh, i bought it at argos you know i got it as cheap as i could you get it home and then it's got this thing in it Oh, download iTunes. So you do that, and then it tells you if you don't agree to their terms and conditions, you can't use your iTunes. Just walk through my scaffolding, did Evelyn? She's a potential marriage uh, uh, applicant as well, because you get the aim of the game is basically get married, have children, and and make a farmer's dynasty, isn't it? Remove scaffold you just press B and it makes it into a ghost and then just go to the next one and as you walk through it, it then disappears so that essentially is is what you do and now you've got this map and you've got all these different build you can I'm, I'm pressing the right bumper button you've got all these different places to visit and you've got a fast travel system which is bus stops and it does work quite well It's self-explanatory so many games have got that kind of thing it's just a waste of time showing you now like i said the the main the main thing about this game is needing patience so oh what yeah what i'll do is just get off straight away i'll show you the uh the, the, the current game that i'm up to so i'll just load this and while while it's loading which is quite it's, quite a long load I guess I'll, I'll just come I'll do me complaining which is that it's very long winded it takes you a very long time to do anything in it because you've got you've got small farming equipment and no no real money uh, I got myself in a position where I could buy some bigger fields by not cheating by uh, doing what's the most efficient time wise and I'll show you that later to get money because the way that you play the game by actually farming using your tractor and your harvester it's very very slow and it takes you a very long time to to do anything and and when i've got this look when i've got this loaded you'll you'll see why because you get all the basic equipment i don't have access to and you know because i don't have the money i don't have access to to, to like a couple of hundred thousand pound pounds worth of uh, of equipment <laughs> here we go and then there's the bugs on top of it all so there's me jack bear now if i press on the field it tells you it's plowed 90 sorry i press on the field press on the right bu bumper button it tells you how much fuel I've, you've got uh the field area so this is 1.92 hectares how much I've ploughed it. That doing it 92% is taking me, I think, about 45 minutes of real time. Not game time, of real time. And it still ain't finished. Uh, I'll just go to the other bit so I can I can show you ex exactly what, what, what this game's going to make you do to earn money. This is maximum speed. We... On this tractor and on that other vintage tractor that I've got, which you may or may not have, I'm not sure if you get that as standard in game. 
but I pre-ordered it. Uh, and like I said, I pre-ordered the, uh, you know, the the most expensive one where you get extra content, none of which I've been able to use. So it's been a total waste of money. And I can't use it because I earned the money to uh, to get it. Now this, look at your, look at your, your graphics. I, I think they're ugly. I, I do think it's ugly. But the lighting is absolutely fantastic, isn't it? At different times of day. Lighting and shadowing is fantastic. But the shadowing is slightly ruined by the way that the textures seem to, to pop, in, pop in and out in a way that... It, it even changes the whole perspective of the camera. It's like the camera zooms in and then zooms out and it's disorientating. Now these are the two, these are two small fields that I've got. These are, that, these are the implements that I've already got by doing quests. The, uh, the, the light dump truck thing, the trailer, the manure spreader, uh, the baler, the cedar, and there's the fertilizer. And then there's, you can't see it because it's hidden in the grass. There's a cultivator there near the greenhouse. You won't be able to see that. If you're watching this on a phone, it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> so, you see the straight lines that you can clearly see? None of the fields are dear to them. So, I lower, I lower that. Then I press the right, left stick down. Now, this is the small field. It's on a uh, 0.79 hectares, and this this is a to, to to do this. I would say it's going to take me 25 minutes to plough this. I'm not going to do it. I'm just showing you. The, I'm just showing you the procedure. So you've got to plough the whole of the field. Like I said, I'm not going to subject you to that. And it tells you that I've ploughed it 6%. That's full speed, by the way. It's almost like if you're running, you can run faster. And sometimes when you, when you unhitch this, it changes the... Uh, changes the camera view like that. <laughs> that that's got to be a bug, hasn't it? So I'll get the, I'll, I'll I'll hitch up the. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. You see, it doesn't even move nice, does it? The, the graphics are all sort of jerky looking. Then I don't know if it it won't it won't even like lack of frame rate. It was almost like it just didn't want to bother drawing it properly. I'm not know if you're picking that up. You might not on a on a you know if you're if you're watching on a on a tablet or something like that. Maybe not pick it up so easily. Now it's telling me that uh, I'm cultivating soil that's not being ploughed. It's because this is bigger than the plough. The plough is the smallest implement, so th this you'll do this slightly faster because you're doing a bit more area on it uh, but it's still going to take you a long time I mean 25 minutes to plough it and then probably 20 minutes to do this and then you've got you've got to put your cedar on it then and then you've got to put manure on it and then you've got to put fertiliser on it you can, you can do it without ploughing it but it's telling me that I, it just won't it won't grow the amount of uh, it won't grow the, the the full amount of seed that you put on it. See, it's done it again. It's changed the view. The cedar has bugs as well. Uh, It'll, you can hitch it up, no problem. But you'll be, you'll be, you'll be seeding with it. And it, when you get to when you get to end of a field to turn round, because you don't. This is this is one of the things you don't want to be running it. 
if you're not seeding because it, it, it all the time you're moving with it when you're on your field it's it's letting it you're losing seed even if you've already seeded that bit it'll still seed it it doesn't differentiate between it being seeded already and and not being seeded so if you run up and down the same patch the whole time you'll lose 100% of your uh, seed yeah what what happens is you can't make it go backwards it sort of digs into the ground and then you've got to reload the game and that's just another just another yet another workaround it's the same with the headers on the uh, on the combines on the combine it this is hard to reverse as well and they don't really give you much room here so you reverse it in oops reverse it in there then just press A and then you can select always I, I would say that as the game stands always always plant peas <laughs> So if I press the right bumper again, you can see I've got 360 ki kilograms uh, of peas, and the field's telling you what state it's in. You don't switch this on, it just does it. And if and also, uh, like, it's giving me that warning, you know, because it's, the, the soil's not been fully prepared, because... The, it's going over bits that have been done, bits that haven't been done. And it's the same here. But what what I'm showing you for is it it will actually look it's using it's using your kilograms. And if I if I keep going here, look on this bit that we've already done, it, it's still using your kilograms, so that's one thing to watch out for. You can change vehicles uh, as well by right and left bumper button, uh, not bumper button, uh, D-pad. So, you see you can't lift this, so all the time that you're moving with it, if, if I get off the field, it, it, it'll it stop doing that. Like now, it, it's not, it's not using my key, it's not using my, uh, see I just, I just unnitched that and it didn't, didn't change the camera, so it's an obvious bug in it. And th th that's what I don't understand. This this game has been out two years on PC, and it turns up at this state on uh, <laughs> on the Xbox. So there, that's it. Just barely changes the colour of stuff. If you if you if you've seeded a field and you let it grow. You know, if you don't straight away fertilize and, and and manure it, you can't tell where you've done it. You can't tell where you've done it. it, it can you see there's a difference in the in the field there, in the colour? I see that camera shaking then, it was awful. So at least you can do this at full speed, but again it's yet another full pass over this uh, over this field and then you've got to do this with your fertilizer I won't bother showing you but you can guess and again that's one of them things that's very difficult to see uh, but you've got to go over the old field again and then you've got to harvest it uh, and unfortunately oh, every time as well the header always needs hitching up and that sometimes doesn't itch up properly, it's stuck to scenery and then you have to load your game, so that's yet another bug that you have to work your way around which, um, to be honest, I, I think it's a bit unforgivable really that, that it's full price game, this is this is about £22 on PC and I paid £44 for it, it's way too expensive It's this is not a triple A game, it is a good idea but there's another bug in the game and it's probably Apart from the game breaking one, it, it's the worst one. You put, you fill this up. You'll have about twelve hundred kilograms in. You can empty it into this, and you empty it into this uh, into this silo by putting your pipe out here. I don't have any grain.
but you put your pipe out there and you don't lose anything as soon as you put your tractor underneath underneath this pipe your tractor's trail underneath there I've had an instance where I had 5,000 kilos in in this silo I might have it on film I'm not sure and by the time it had filled the trailer up there was only 3,000 left 3,000 in the trailer and, and it said I was spilling seed it says it all the time oh you're spilling your seed you're spilling your seed and there's not what you can do about it no matter where you put the trailer it'll spill it and it lost 2,000 out of, out of 5,000 that's nearly half your stuff and and when you look how laborious and time consuming it, assuming it is to uh, to do anything in this game then you got to wait for it to to grow and then harvest it obviously so the, the, the only way you can effectively harvest your fields is to bypass any form of transport keep it in your harvester and drive all the way I'll show you just so as you got some idea that other field that I, I was doing when when I first started this section uh, you can just see them in distance there it's it's like it's about I don't know 800 meters which is nearly a, nearly a kilometre and you have to drive all the way up there at this speed so that you can tip the grain directly into the into the sail part. Uh, re it basically renders your, your trailer useless. And I thought, oh, is it because it's an old trailer? So I went to the trouble of accumulating enough money to, to buy a brand new trailer. Uh, and that lost even more grain. And not only that, if you you, you lose it twice. If you if you're doing this field, or you're doing all your fields like you would in Farm Simulator, and then you you took it to your silo, you, you know it's safe, don't you? You, you? you don't you don't give it a second thought. So if you do these two fields down here, and this field here, and you take it you take it to your silo, and dump it in there, you're going to use your trailer, aren't you? So if I've got this full of twelve hundred kilos of uh, of grain. And I've got my tractor up there with the trailer, and I then dump this grain into the trailer that loses seed as well. And then when I dump the trailer into the silo, and then retrieve it from the silo, it loses it again. I once I had twelve thousand. I started off. I calculated that I'd that this I'd done about. I think I'd done about fifteen tons or something like that. Or no, or twelve tons, you know, like twelve hundred, twelve thousand kilos, and and by the time I'd it had been in the uh, in that trailer, then into the silo, and then into the trailer again, I'd I'd lost over half of it, easily over half of it, and uh, that's just not good. So for that, I I just totally downmarked this game. Plus, there's there's an actual game game killing bug in it as well, an actual game killer. Where that if you if you save it like that, that's end of your game. You built a load it, you just won't be able to play it. Now, I know that's all negative, uh, and it is negative. But the, like I said, the lighting's nice, and I like this perspective they've got. Look how it blurs that background, and when, then when I look over there, look, it comes into focus. I think that's brilliant. I think a lot of games like this should have that. You see, you've got that depth of field in your camera. The rain effects are terrible. Uh, I've not come across any other any other weather, because once you get to thirtieth of September, and you go to bed that night, you wake up on the first of April. I think it's first of April. Uh, so I mean, you know, this the, the great the game is a massive time sponge, uh, and it's frustrating because it's 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 bugs after bugs and you've got to work around this work around that you've got to save it all the time uh, for that reason I couldn't recommend it to anybody I wish they, they'd stop putting games like this out put them out when they're finished I am interested in playtesting your game or spending my time uh, 
doing workarounds. In fact, I've, I think I've probably wasted enough time on this game as it is. I, I, I doubt I'll play it anymore. And it's been out. It's been out over a week, and Dan, Dan updated it. And uh, I'm not sure if they will. Well, I think I think they will. But I bought the game to play it now. Not not bought it. You know, if I want to play it in six months, I'll get it at discount water. But I wanted to play it when it come out. Plus, I wanted to do a review on it, so that's sort of my own fault. But if you're going to buy this game to play it, I just would say no. Leave it until it's on discount and have a look to see if it's being patched. Because as it stands, there's too, there's, there's too much of your effort. It's just going to go for no. You're not going to have much fun. You're not going to be playing the game. You're going to be finding workarounds for the game to make it work. Uh, but if you insist on, on playing it, I'll put a little section at the end of it. Uh to give you a few more tips about how to make money fast and stuff like that. I'm hoping I've got the film. If not, I'll do it separately. So th this may or may not be the end of the video. If it is, uh, thanks for watching. But if it in, uh, it means I found the bits of film <laughs> and the time to do it. Right, I'm going to cover the uh, the bugs now. This is the hay wagon bug. Uh, and if this happens and you save your game, well, you've lost because I've currently lost the hair wagon. And if you've saved your game, it's gone forever. And worse still, this can happen. Uh, and this, this, if you reload, this will still keep happening. So your game's actually ruined. You just watch. You can still hear it, can't you? The map works, but I haven't got the footage of that. Uh, but that's it. Your game would be ruined because every time you try and drive your tractor or move about in the world. You're just going to go to black screen. Uh, luckily, I'd I'd got multiple saves because I used to play PC games, and I know that you've got to keep things saved. So I found that the workaround for it basically is is to what I was doing was collecting the bales uh, and making them into sort of like loose piles so that I could then drive the tractor around. And uh, see that that's gone. You know, you're not getting it back no matter what you do. So, no matter how, how you try, it's not going to come back. <clears throat> and like I said, if you've if you've saved your game after you've lost it, it's gone forever. But I did find a workaround for it. Uh, I'm not sure what triggers it either. Uh, I don't know if it's running around the field and stacking your bales up before you collect them that does it. I don't even know why I'm driving round here. Like that. I'm just I'm just testing it to show you that the it's not going black basically, the, you know the screen blackness. And if you look on the, uh, I'm pretty sure that it, they're the icons of your machines and and your other little bits, you know like your trailers and that. And I couldn't I couldn't find the baler on there uh, unless anyone could see. It. I I never saw not the baler, the uh, the bale wagon, or the bale trailer. I never found it. Uh, my workaround basically was to do what I'd done before, which was to run around that field, <laughs> throwing air bells about, uh, and then uh, yeah, I'm going back to the previous save here before it happens. And I'm, I know it's a bit sort of odd me showing you the loading screens because they're quite lengthy, but I want to show you that you can get it to work. So all's not lost. The only time it'll be lost is if you if you save the game after you've lost your trailer. Uh, just don't do that. Otherwise, it's gone forever. And, and worse still, you could get that black screen bug that that turned up. That black screen bug only happened once, but that's all you need, didn't it? If that had been my sole save, that that had been end of my game. And like I said earlier, this is one of them games. It's it's very long winded. Very, very long-winded. I managed to get quite a bit of money to experiment with a few things like the rebuilding and buying a new trail and things like that. And uh, it took some time. Even even the quick way of getting money is not quick. It's, it's hard to do. And it's very time-consuming as well. Right, this is... This is the game Reloaded where I've got some bales already on there. And I don't know if this taking the bale off and putting it back on is how to do with it, but 
now when I get back in the tractor it doesn't sink into the field and, and the game just carries on as normal and I can I can continue and do the rest of the field and I don't have a problem with it uh, so that that was my workaround for that basically I'd, I'd, I'd put some bales on walked off the field I don't know why I walked off the field saved the game uh, and then reloaded it and on the reloading everything seems to work now that's a really obvious bug and it was repeatable and I don't see why I should pay £44 £45 to play test this game for this big Ben company or whatever they're called I resent that they should be paying me to do this I should have got paid for playing this game as one of their play testers because I've, I've found a way around one of their bugs no one's play tested it then is that is that what's happened or they just don't care which is it because I don't see how something like this could slip through net I've repeated it quite often and it was the first time I used that the first time I used this hay bale trailer I got that bug straight away because this field is the only field that you start off with that you you can collect hay from because this is the default field and it's it's got wheat on it when you start the game and this is the first harvest and this is the first time I've got to use the hay baler and the hay wagon this is this is losing uh, you can see how much I've got there a three three eight three thousand eight hundred eighty five I think it was uh, wheat wait you know kilograms of wheat that is I think I lose 825 or something like that. You can do it some of yourself. <laughs> and check it, check my work. But it's it's annoying because you if you've done it in if you if you'd harvested the field with your harvester, then put the grain into the trailer. It does tell you that it, you're losing it. Uh, but you think oh well you know there's not it's only just a bit but it isn't a bit it's a lot and then you put it into the silo then you put it back in your trailer again you've lost it double and and the, and the loss is inconsistent it isn't like 10 percent or something like that it can be much more it can be almost half of it at times uh you can see how much i've got in there it, it's a bit some of the uh text draws over the other text and the other thing that I don't like is that you can't get rid of that help screen which makes the game even uglier because I don't need that help screen particularly uh, it's quite simple so briefly you'll see here I'll, I'll put it a bit real brief you might have to pause it so that you can do the sums yourself 1152 kilograms And that's my new trailer that I've jumped through hopes to buy, thinking that you know it's the old trailer that's the problem. No, it always tells you that you're spilling. I can't remember exactly how much I lost there. I think it worked. It I think it worked out to something like six hundred twenty-five. I'd got it written down, but I've lost that now. <laughs> Mr. Captain bothered looking anymore. I press wrong button then. And now I'm just cycling through to get to that tractor. Yeah, 525 from 1152. It's 600 nod, isn't it? It's, that's a huge loss. And then I'd lose it. If I were to then go put that in the grain silo and, and then put it back in the trailer from the grain silo, I'd lose even more. <laughs> Ooh, my voice went up. It shows I'm emotional. There's a glitch here, uh, but that's that's the, the way it's captured. That's not the game. You watch the textures now, flicking from side to side and then forward. That's the game. But the lighting's really nice, and, and the shadowing. It looks like the time of night it is. It's like six o'clock, seven o'clock at night, getting on for that. But like I said, the uh, it's always night time at 1900 hours, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. Uh, which is, you know, obviously unrealistic. But I do, the lighting's so nice.
And it does look nice that, but the the rest of the graphics lay it down. This is the uh, truck that you've got to buy, so you can buy building supplies, and you can then use. You have to buy the the building supplies. You don't get them for free. So that's re putting new wood onto the hen house. Now this doesn't seem to affect how many eggs you get or how many hens you can have. You can only have. I can't remember how many hens you, you can have. But you collect their eggs every day, and that's the best way to make money, believe it or not, in this game. It's the fastest, and I'll show you right at the end of the video, how to how to make money the fastest, most efficient way you can. In the, in, in the way that the game is at the moment, that is. That's, it's a bit sad, really, that you have to do with that sort of thing. You should be able to just play the game as it is, rather than playing it. I'll show you how to play it to, to make you make your money the fastest. No, I mean using your own time fastest, because this, this, like I said earlier, the, the fields, some of the fields will take your best part of an hour just to, just to plough them with the equipment that you start off with. And then, you know, you've got to cultivate them, then you've got to seed them, then you've got to put that manure on them, and that's a long job, and then put the fertiliser on them, and that's, that's not quite so long. And then you've got to harvest them, and then sell all the stuff. And then to start losing losing in-game currency while you're doing that as well is just unforgivable. And it just shows a lack of respect for the person that's playing the game, I think. Because they, they, they've they got to know about this. They, this cat, that sort of thing, couldn't have slipped through the net. It, it, it's one of the worst things you could do in, in this sort of a game is just wasting your player's time. A lot of games have tended to do that lately, haven't they? So that you buy DLC or or you know, you know, use the in-game things to to level up faster. You know, fill in the blank. But they tend to like doing that, putting an extra grind on stuff. But there's no way to buy your way out of this. You're in real money, so it's just it's just lazy programming, and lazy quality control, in my opinion. Yeah. So if you want to p p pay me to be a player tester contact me and give me some money but I doubt you'll do that will you you just let me waste basically this this review was the longest time it's ever taken me to review anything because I've had to play the game a lot just to come to the conclusion that you haven't made it properly it's disgusting and I won't be buying any more of your games either this is the new trailer uh, and this is where I've let that I've, you see the head has come off Loading and saving the game always makes the header come off. But just leaving it in a place like that, it won't. I can't attach it, and you can't push it either. And that's one, if you can't move it, that's one of the clues. It's become part of the scenery. So the only the workaround for this is you reload your game, or you, you can save it now. Or I've been able to save it at this point. You know when it's stuck, and reloaded it. But I've had the luxury of knowing that this sort of thing can happen and I've got loads of different saves. <laughs> Which you shouldn't have to do on a console. That's that's like playing a PC game ten or fifteen years ago in it, you know. Always save your game every ten seconds. Every time every time you take three steps, save your game. Yeah, it's it's just not gonna move no matter what you do. The only way the only way around it is to basically save and reload but always make sure that you've got a previous save as well that's 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 sort of not damaged see i've gone on to a different i've saved it onto a different slot here uh, and now i'm gonna i'm gonna exit and then i'm just gonna reload it but when I won't show you the reloading, but when I do reload it, it, it does just work. I'm just showing you that, just 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 to sort of rub it in a bit, how much effort you've got to go to. Now, this is what I found the best way. Sleep. I, I've buy hens. So you've got a chicken coop full of hens. Sleep. Run. <laughs> I've got cows as well, but they're not really worth. They're not really worth milking. I'll be honest with you. The 
they take too long uh but this is this is relatively quick you know because it's your time you're trying to save and this is where the uh dead zone on the on the, on the left stick that moves you really hurts the game as well because it, it as soon as you move it you start you move too fast so you've got to rely on the left and right look to accurately gather these eggs. But obviously, you know, when you do it as much as I ended up doing, you end up getting good at it. And the way that it, it could do with the trigger <laughs> being the thing that picks them up, not the air button, because then you, you know the way the controller works. You're moving it with a thumbstick that's your right thumb that's moving the stick, and then you press, have to take your thumb off the stick to press the air button to actually pick the stuff up the milk in the cows it just isn't worth the effort especially when you've got nine or ten of them or whatever it, however many it is and uh, and, the, and what you get in return for doing all this it's just not worth it you're better off just doing the eggs you know because like i said you talked about your actual real time that you're making this in and there's lots of there's lots of just really unhelpful things that happen in the game which you know, like the NPCs, you need to talk to them to get a quest, but they're locked into conversation with each other and they just won't talk to you. They either ignore you or just say that the cats aren't now because they're busy. Even the shopkeeper does that. Now, I've gone into my kitchen and I've picked tomatoes and I'm cooking my tomatoes because if you cook stuff, which you can do en masse, thankfully, that's one thing that does save you a lot of a lot of time. It all ends up magically in tins, <laughs> and you can carry it around with you. So I've got hundred, I've got seven hundred odd cans of <laughs> soup in my pocket. But the the best thing to do uh, is the eggs. Stick to the eggs, and every now and then you can get your tomatoes because they seem to be the most profit from your greenhouse. But they they grow quite slow. The milk. Well, it, the, the profit's all right from it. The amount of time it takes to actually collect the milk in, in, isn't worth doing. So I've already done I've already done a lot of eggs, uh, already cooked. But what I'm going to do, I must have done something wrong there. I didn't cook it. Do you know what? I don't know. Don't know what happened then. It's it's the eggs you need to do get on them eggs I ended up with nearly 2,000 of them and that took basically I think it was about a game month you know like 30 days which is you know you go to bed skip time run to run to the uh, chicken coop collect all the eggs and sort of rinse and repeat obviously saving your game every now and then because the game's so damn glitchy Everything about the game is just really laborious and slow. And it's a shame, really, because it, this this could have been... This had the potential to be a, a really good game. If only they didn't have just messed it up. I'd have messed it up. You can clearly see where they've... Yeah, got 1,600-odd eggs or something there. And I'm still managing to run... And it's just an example of the way the game just messes you about for no there's one of the bus stops on the right hand left there. That just messes you about. That barrel always jumps up when you're approaching it. I'm busy. Yeah, I'm busy. That's really helpful, mate. Because now I've got to wait in real time, which I did do, but I didn't subject you to that. Till it till it got a bit later in the day. Good to see you. And now Can he wants you? to talk to me. To you don't even go in his shop, that's sure. weird. So you'll see where the profit is now when I start selling this stuff. See how much it is per tin? I don't know why I'm pausing like this. <laughs> so that's my tomato soup. See that money going up, and it's still in euros, even though set it on pounds. So that's nine, nine grand, nine thousand two hundred uh, 
currencies. <laughs> And the what's that? I can't see what. Oh, that's the eggs. See, they've actually gone down. The the, the price fluctuates. I've had them. I've had them. I think there was like thirty, twelve or thirteen uh, pounds, dollars, euros, whatever you want to call it. So the prices do do fluctuate, and you can even you can buy a chainsaw, a fishing rod, the weed whacker, brush cutter, and a drone. <laughs> I've not used the drone. The fishing's boring. Uh, the chainsaw deletes bushes uh, there's like a headlight that you can strap on the stuff's ridiculously expensive as well in, in the game but there that's like what's that 15, 15 grand plus that 9 grand so that's nearly 25 grand plus you could make more if the price is right uh, plus if you really wanted to you could do the milk but I, that's not worth your time to do the milk it really ain't so that's it I, I'm i sorry it's a negative again but uh, thanks for watching I hope the tips at the end have been of some help to you so that'll be me done with this game bye bye